mean, I guess some of Jordan's uh, you know worst moments this season. You've talked about him kind of being in a rush. I mean, are you seeing that late in some of these games, key possessions? You know, I know tonight obviously kind of seemed like he tripped while he was dribbling. Just are you just seeing him kind of being a rush in, in key? Yeah, moments? you know, uh, he's also hitting huge shots for us. You know, he had two two big jumpers down the stretch, and Jordan's made so many big plays for us and and helped us win so many games. Um, but what's great is that everything is a learning experience for him. Um, you know, at this stage of his career, and he's getting a lot of um, you know late game experience. And um, you know, he made the the one mistake, but like I said, he made made two big shots right before that. And and uh, you know, I thought really you know played well and played hard all game. And um, I just told the guys how how proud I am of them um, for holding down the fort. You know, uh, these last couple of weeks. Um, you know, tonight was was tough, but. Um, Given the state of our roster, for to, you know, for us to to win five of these first six home games on this stretch and uh, have all these guys um, fighting and scrapping and clawing night after night, it's been really impressive and it's put us in a great position. Um, you know, going forward, and we've got reinforcements coming. Um, so it was a tough tough loss, but like I said, more than anything, I'm just proud of of um, the, the entire group. Steve, what were you thinking when Clay hit that three to tie it? Maybe the way that that play was executed, and then Sadiq Bay responding on the other end. Yeah, I mean it was uh, it was a tough way to lose. Um, you know, um, it, it looked like we had uh, covered the play pretty well, and then uh, I'll have to get another look at it. But um, you know, Sadiq freed himself up there at the last second. Um, felt like it was almost a five second violation and then uh, and then he hit you know it's one of those shots that um, usually isn't going to go in but I also feel like um, you know the game rewards the team that that um, maybe plays harder and I thought our fatigue was a factor and I thought uh, Detroit played great they played really hard um, all game they were physical um, you know they were all over the glass um, made big shots you know Bogdanovich hit the big three with two seconds on the shot clock uh, when they had the out of bounds under um, so they hit they hit big shots and I thought they deserved to win they were they were fantastic tonight Steve, even as you guys were winning games the last five games, there were a number of those games where you were playing uphill a lot until the fourth quarter. Tonight, another example, you're playing uphill. What in the first quarter, I think they shot 67%. Was it defense? What was going on in the first, qu first quarter that couldn't quite get you guys going? Yeah, we couldn't get stops. And uh, same thing at the start of the third quarter. I thought we brought... Uh, you know some good energy at the start of the third, and they they kept hitting shots. They um, you know they made uh, 16 threes tonight. Um, they're bigs, or those guys are tough. Those young guys, you know, they're athletic, and um, they got free in the paint um, several times for um, for buckets. You know, uh, Duran was eight for eight. Um, you know, Stewart, you know, got got free a couple times. So uh, I thought their size and athleticism um, really hurt us tonight. Draymond picked up, I think, his 12th technical foul of, of the season. I know his fire is something that is really important to this team, but is there ever or is there a concern level with, you know, re kind of inching closer and closer to that, that suspension benchmark? No, he's point? never gone over. He knows where the, the line is. Um, I, I didn't really see what happened at the end um, when, uh, was it he and Stewart got into it? Um, in my mind, it's like, do we have to call a double technical and eject a guy from the game because two guys in a really competitive game in the most competitive basketball league on earth or oh my who knew they were they're were gonna actually get it get a little upset with each other like this is the game that's what people pay to see like competition at its highest form um so to to come out of the timeout um you know, we've already drawn up our play. Draymond's on the floor. And then we got inbound the ball, and they tell us Draymond's been ejected. That's that's a tough one. That's I haven't experienced that before. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I prefer in those situations where, you know, the officials have the awareness that somebody's got a tee. We're, we're not going to kick them out because two guys get into a little, you know, uh, yelling match or whatever it was. Um, if it's if it's earned, it's earned. And maybe I'm totally wrong. If I'm wrong, you know, then um, 
then that's my fault. But I, I don't really believe there should be double technicals that lead to an ejection for that. Was that that last clay three that was that? I guess did that go exactly how you designed it with you know the pass over the top to Lamb and then yeah. that screen? Yeah, that's um, you know we have a lot of a lot of plays that we try you know late game. Some of them some of them work, some of them don't. And um, the guys executed that one really well. And Clay got a good look. And and uh, you know obviously he was he he really got hot late. He started the game. Uh, slowly, but he he really um, got us going there down the stretch and uh, got a good look. Looney set a great screen and and um, you know Clay um, knocked it down. Thank you.